So today I'm going to share with you all the techniques that I've learned in oil pastel. So let's go! You can see that I drew a parrot with the pencil but it isn't the main sketch. So I just put down my proportions and minor details. Now it's the time to color it with our oil pastels. So for this artwork, you will need a few blues, yellows, greens and browns, as well as some reds and white and black. So take your white oil pastel and just go over the face. Now take your black oil pastel and just color in the beak. And remember to put very light pressure. And if you want sharp edges on your oil pastel, then break it in half. Now take lemon yellow and color in the place where I'm going to. Now take light blue and color in the places that I color. Take some navy blue and color in the bottom feather. Take an ash color and color in the feet. Now we're going to focus on the head. So now take a darker green and color in the places where I am going to. Remember to mix all sorts of colors, that's the way it looks real, because a bird has all sorts of colors. You can even add some dark blue and do whatever you like. But remember to always blend. So you take your dark color and then you take your lightest color and then you go softly over it so that it blends. No matter how many layers you add, it's fine because oil pastel can layer on each other.
then take the darker brown or burnt umber and try blend in the burnt sienna with the lamp black. Now take some burnt sienna and blend in the dark brown. And now you really need to focus. So now take your black pastel and break it in half like this. Choose the one which has the sharpest edges. Define the facial features. So what you want to do is you want to take your black pastel and do a few lines. Something like that. And then take a very mid blue and add a few strokes to the bottom of his mouth and then you want to go back to your white and then just go softly over it to just give a pop of interest like that and now we're going to be focusing on the background. So I'm going to try make it a little more fun, but not too crazy because we want our bird to be the eye-catching part. Now you want to take a scarlet red and rub it off your finger like that, but a little more. until you have a full pigmented finger. Then you just want to rub very softly on your paper to give a small tint. You want to keep on do this until you're happy. I just made a few changes like making these feathers long and my tail longer, changing a few shades to make it brighter or duller and adding more depth. I'm very sorry for not filming it. But now it's the time to add the signature. And this is the final artwork. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when I post my videos. Bye!